Yeah, easy enough. I don't think there's ever really a gigantic bleed in this. I never really felt like, you know, I was so far ahead. It's like, you know, I can coast from here on out. Which, uh, not a lot of racing games do. Like, most certainly not the Need for Speed games. Like, Burnout. Well, yeah, Burnout, you can eventually do it, depending on who you're facing. But, still. The only games that r really gave me that sense of I had to fight for my lead every single time were this and probably Downhill Domination. Because in Downhill Domination, uh, you go from first to last in about a good 10 seconds. Come on. I'm at the eight percent. Yes. Ah <laughs> ah Not know Tiana Stone was that close to me. Tell me, Coax, how does it feel to have lost in this very important race? Oh, you have to learn not to take the individual races too seriously, Barlow. But surely you must be disappointed. You either learn to take these things in stride, or you let them eat you up. Losing any one individual races is meaningless. Uh, well, thanks, Coax. I think that's an important lesson for the kids out there to keep in mind. Yeah. Try your best to hide the fact that you're pissed that you lost the race. Oh boy. <laughs> Two. One. Go! Hip hip, cheerio! I have never lost control like that. Like, you'll see ships just flip out. Yo, shit! Like, they got freaking. It's a big old space combat war. And it never happens to me. I just get spun in one direction or another. And I quickly rectify the situation. Unless I clip right through the frickin' crack. You saw it. Game has a lot of clipping issues, or seemingly. Come on, you son of a... Coax. Coax, another Want that last victory. victory. Nice. Tell me, did you ever have any doubts? Yes. Uh, Coax, wait. Uh, well, Coax is a, a man, I guess, a few words. I think the only victory he's really interested in is the one at Epsilon Indy's final rail. So, let's get on to the next race. Challenger from Earth, Connor Rhodes, has scored an impressive victory over Coax in his home domain. Now, it's on to Quadrant 4. But first, these messages.
So that's quadrant three for you. Exploring dead space. You know, at least with the text on screen, it would explain, you know, what's going on with the plot. Oh, wow. Weird looking place. What the? Those ships? Or are they like buoys out in the ocean? No, they're ships. Wouldn't make sense if they weren't.